It was hard. You got to go up to him. You don't really know what exactly to say. I mean, it's a guy who, who lives for competition, lives to be on the field, lives to try to help his team win in any way possible. Um, you just let him know you think about him. You let him know you love him. Um, keep on playing some flappy golf with him. Keep on trying to get him, let him compete a little bit. And uh, just know that you're here for him and anything he needs. And uh, his career is far from over. So, I mean, I think that that's, that's the end of the thing. Is that what you're telling Is that what you're telling Come on. Well, now. Speaking of careers, I'll switch uh, subjects here. I know that on senior day, a lot of those seniors have a chance to come back next year, but you, this was the last last one for you, last home game as a Hawkeye or as a competitor. Um, what uh, what was it like for you uh, going out there and running out for one last senior day? Uh, that was awesome. I mean, it's uh, a lot of emotions. Just like, it's just you go out there and it's like, wow, like, you played five years of football. I mean, you got granted an extra one with the COVID. So, um, I mean, this is this game you love, you know, honestly. So it's like you're going out there. I'm 22. I'm about to turn 23 playing the game since I was been five. Like, I don't even remember life without football. So it's kind of like it's, it's a real emotional. It's real fun. Um, parents are there. Everyone's there. So it's like it's just a great moment. And uh, it's just a great opportunity just to play for the home fans again. And, uh, it's honestly been an honor playing in front of Kinnick. Um, the stadium's just electric. It's loud. It's fun. It's crazy. It's just you get out there, you just lose your mind. You watch yourself on film sometimes. You're like, what am I doing? Um, but it's awesome. So I've just been really thankful for it. For the freshmen and transfers that come into this uh, program, I know that there has to be some education on the rivalries and what they mean and what the trophies mean, that kind of thing. Uh, what Any stories you've heard about this Iowa-Nebraska rivalry? What, what do you hear about what this means to the state or to the team? Yeah, I mean, it's fierce. I mean, it's at the end of the season for a reason. Um, Iowa-Nebraska, I mean, it's kind of one of those things that you hear about, too. It's not one of those ones that uh, – you don't necessarily know as much about. That's one of those ones where, shoot, when we finished Virginia, Virginia Tech last year and stuff like that, you flip in the channel, you see this one too. You kind of you're like, all right, let's watch this one. Um, so I mean, you know, it's a it's a it's a great game every single year and uh, heck of an opponent um, and two great programs. Have, have you um, has this experience at Iowa almost exceeded your expectations and yeah. what's made it so special? Yeah, I mean, I just think honestly, it starts with the people. Um, I think between the coaches, the players, just even just the community, um, I think those are all the things that makes this place so special. Um, and just, I mean, when you ever get in the transfer portal, it's just like you don't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. It's super comfortable at Virginia. Um, I'm super thankful for that experience. And then you get here and it's just like, wow, there's another great opportunity. There's another great place out there. And um, I'm just really, I mean, exceeded everything. I can't even put it into words, honestly. It's like the coaches, they've taught me so much. They've taught me so much more about ball, so much more about life, different experiences, how to handle adversity. The guys here have just taken me in, embraced me, become some of my best friends, some dudes that I'm bringing to my wedding one day. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, I can't be more thankful for this opportunity to be at Iowa. What did you think of uh, uh, Jay's dad's fit the other night? The other day? <laughs> All car, <cock, cock. laughs> All car, <cock, cock. laughs> That's all I got to say. I love it. I Does love you it. like his jacket or his boots better? Or uh, hat? I mean, I'm, I like the boots. I like his boots. You know, I, I'm a down south guy, so yeah. the boots, the boots kind of, <laughs> it relates to me a little bit. Bill sent you on quite a few blitzes this week. He started the season, a lot of coverage. Are you happy to kind of be let loose now and, and get after the quarterback? Uh, I mean, it's fun. I mean, just whatever, whatever. Whatever way I can help the team is just whatever way I want to do, whatever I want to do, honestly. So uh, whether that be in coverage, whether that be in just run support, whether that be blitzing, I think it's just been super fun. Um, and shoot, I mean, every time you get to blitz, it's just it's fun. It's fun. You know, less thinking, you just get to kind of go. Um, but it's been exciting. It's been honestly just uh, a whole transition throughout the throughout the season. So it's been awesome. Nebraska 